For May, I decided to put myself through the challenge of 100 press-ups for the whole of May, all 31 days. So 3,100 press-ups in total. This is, I say, present me. Uh, let's say that. And uh, I'm going to take you along this journey, so it'll snip back to me and kind of a few highlights as we go throughout this month. But uh, what we started with is I didn't do this for charity. I decided to do this just as a challenge on my own. And then I was actually inspired. A lot of people were doing it for cancer research. So uh, I decided to take it up as a challenge myself. I'm very weak in my upper body. So this was going to always be a little bit of a challenge for me. And to see if anything actually changed, I did a few things. Firstly, I just saw how many continuous press-ups I could do as one of the measurements. But also, secondly, I did some physical measurements. So I did across the chest area, uh, left and right arm in a flexed and relaxed position to see if there were any changes. So these are the current measurements. So here we are start of day one and uh, when I was recording we were pet sitting at the time uh, for my partner's sister and uh, this is basically how any filming started to go for the first day. Oh my god right, <laughs> go on Indy get out of the way. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alright, alright. Okay so <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I can't do this while in these <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's adorable, but it was very hard to film. Next clip you'll see how many push-ups I was able to do to start off with on day one. So this is day one and I'm going to do my uh, test to see how many I can do continuously in a row. So um, I will put you on the ground, let's see how I get on and then uh, we will go from there. And what I'm going to try and do is not necessarily do all the 100 press-ups straight away, but uh, do as uh, kind of throughout the day at points as well. So it's just to vary it up so that completely my shoulders aren't going to collapse on me. So, put you down here. And there is a little Indy in the background. So, let's see how many to start off with I can do continuously. That is how terrible I am at push-ups. 13 <laughs> and a half. So that's a really low barrier. So hopefully I'll be able to get more continuously. I did go to the gym yesterday, but again, I didn't do too much chest stuff in preparation for today. So hopefully I'll be able to do the rest of the push-ups today. And I will update you a little bit more as I go along this challenge. A few moments later. I have finally finished my 100 press-ups today. And uh, yeah, it's about kind of 3.30, so uh, yeah, I am hurting. My left tricep is already hurting, my chest is hurting a little bit as well. It's gonna be a long road for these 31 days. So even after day one, this was gonna be quite a hard challenge for me, but I was always gonna try and do the best I could. So uh, when we got to day four, I changed things up just a little bit. Today marks day four of the 100 press up challenge for the month of May. And uh, like you saw after the first day, I was really starting to feel it a little bit. And to save myself from having too much DOMS, I have decided to change the type of press ups that I'm doing. You can call it cheating if you want, but you know what? I'm not overloading and injuring myself for the sake of this. So I did some pike push ups for day two, and also I did push up releases for day three. Went back to normal press ups for today, and actually I was able to get to 15, um, and that's continuously. So actually, already from day one, there is that improvement. So we we're really sucking on diesel now. Oh, that was really disappointing, actually. But there was also something else which was going to happen this week, which was my second dose of uh, the COVID vaccine. So I didn't actually know how much this would actually affect the press ups. So today is the 8th of May. And actually, because this is my uh, in the 30 days press up challenge, 
I am getting my second COVID jab done. Um, and uh, from what I hear from other people, uh, it could be a little bit sore on my arms. So it's gonna be interesting as to uh, how it will affect the uh, press ups. But again, I'm not gonna let that deter me. I am determined to do these 100 press ups every day. But as you can see, this was me about an hour later and I was able to do push ups quite successfully. So actually it was quite all right. And then again, it was really hard to just kind of record during the month and say, oh, I've done this many press ups on this day. We all know we're doing 100 press ups every day. So uh, again, here's me skipping ahead a little bit to around the midway point and to see how I was coping a little bit better, if I was coping a little bit better with the push ups. So I am getting kind of nearer to halfway of this push up challenge. I am really getting quite tight across here in particular. Um, across the chest area. So uh, I say I've tried to vary it up as much as I can, but I tell you, I definitely need to stretch like more regularly uh, just to try and help uh, just stretch out with uh, some of the chest area. So uh, that's even something I felt after 10 days and 11 days. So uh, yeah, it's that combination of just uh, potentially not overdoing it a little bit, but uh, manageable chunks and 100 press ups is still quite a lot every single day. So I say it's going well, but could be a better. So I carried on and carried on and uh, we got towards the end of this and this was me kind of on day 28, 29 now. And actually I felt a lot more comfortable with the press ups. Actually even looking back at it, you can see that there is a lot of difference between kind of the form as well. Um, and I'm actually really happy that I was able to get to this stage with the push ups. But we need to go on to today. Right, to do the retest, I have probably picked the hottest place to do it, which isn't great, but we're going to do it and then this will be the comparison from a ride of day one, this is technically day 32, because I do it the day after. Have been to the gym, a bit sore, but hell, hell to it. Here we go, we will do the, as many as we can do, uh, as far as we can go. So, I am ready here. So this time my arms were really caning. And they are a little bit sore, but that's 13. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So that's basically two hundred percent of what I was able to do on day one. Not too bad. So you were able to see that I was being able to get to twenty-seven push-ups, which, like I say, is two hundred percent. That's crazy. That's actually quite a lot of. Okay, it's taken a month to get there, but that's still quite a significant amount of press-ups, which I've also done. But also interestingly. Here are also my measurements as well for that, after that whole month. So it really is that actually after those press ups, I was able to increase them from 13 to 27, but also as well, there was some size gain within the chest and also the arms. Yes, okay, it probably wasn't as much uh, as it may have been uh, kind of expected to do, but actually any growth is really important. Now, would I do this challenge again? Mm, probably not, honestly. Especially when it got to kind of halfway, I was feeling a little bit tight. I was almost a bit like, oh, I don't really want to do this anymore. It does get a little bit tedious doing press ups every single day. Is it good for actually a exercise itself? Yes, I think if you do the push up correctly and eventually you saw that my form was getting a lot better. Actually, if you can engage the right muscle groups, the core, the glutes as well, it can be a really effective exercise to use as part of an exercise routine. But I wouldn't necessarily solely rely on it for growth or um, exercise uh, consistency either. But it was always good to do another 30 day challenge and uh, hopefully I'll be doing another one as well in a couple of months time is when I'm planning to do this. But for June, I'm just gonna have a rest, get back to a little bit of a normal routine with my running and other stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching this 30 day challenge of 100 press, uh, 30, 30 day? 
31 day. I've said 30 day for the whole thing. What am I like? Right. 31 days of 100 press-ups. So, let me know how you got on if you did something like this as well. And uh, hopefully everyone's raised lots of money for charity in the process. Take care everyone and I will see you in the next video.